We've just been up here at North Egmont Visitor Centre and we had a talk from Tim, one of the guys in the Department of Conservation, and he's been talking to us about conservation and pest control and how we can become more efficient in that and then also how it links into climate change. With what you're talking about is things like protecting the environment and stuff and like conservation is what I And so I want to like get this all these ways and we can help that. So, yeah, most definitely. most definitely. So it's extremely important to get the next generation involved with conservation because they bring new ideas, not constrained or restricted from the past. They are currently using the best technology there is and they can easily just bring that forward for, for us to be using in conservation. We are at the Mathenex Visitor Centre and we have just spent the best of uh, an hour and a half or so learning of the production of methanol um, and how it is important to the economy and how it is sustainable. If you talk about sustainable uh, vehicles, you, you usually think battery electric or hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, but then to know that some of them use methanol as a fuel was quite um, new and I didn't previously know that methanol could be used in this way. So this morning we got to go out and see Taranaki from the water on like a rough day. It was like a roller coaster, huge swells. We saw seals and yeah, we had an awesome time. I was up the front so I just got drenched, but that was part of the atmosphere, just singing along and having great fun. We're looking into ocean acidification and the effects that climate change has on that. So we just went around the marina and out to an island to collect some plankton. We used some of the equipment that the marine biologists usually use and so we could pick up some of that plankton to analyse later in the lab. So what we're doing is we've let the plankton net out and hopefully with that large volume of water we'll get some good samples of some of the plankton in the water. So we uh, looked through the microscopes and saw some of the plankton moving around and some of the sediment and stuff that was still in there, which was really exciting, <laughs> finding all these new species and stuff that were living inside in such a small space. Plankton is absolutely beautiful. Um, if I were an art student, I would probably use it as my inspiration for art boards or something because they just have such cool shapes and the colours are all there and it's amazing. We got to see how um, climate change the acidification of the oceans can affect um, animals and plankton and snails. 
So taking the samples that we got from the planktons and seeing how they reacted to having more carbon in the water.